So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. But I do notice also that we have a pretty sizable word problem here. So I'm sure there is going to be some element of the strategy translate word problem. So let's get started. So the question says a cross section of the planet Mars is shown, right? So we see that. We see the core in the middle, the mantle next, followed by the crust. Each of the three layers is spherical, right? So it's not just a circle as we see visually, but it's actually a sphere that we're cutting through. The radius of Mars is approximately 3,390 kilometers. So here comes the first kind of part of our translate word problem. Anytime we see some quantitative information, we want to write it down. So R Mars, so radius of Mars, 3,390 kilometers. And the radius of the core is about half the radius of Mars. So R core, we go to our calculator and we get 1,695 kilometers for the radius of the core, right? So this guy here, 1695, but this whole thing is 3390. The question goes on to say, which of the following is closest to the total volume in cubic kilometers of the mantle and crust combined? So in essence, we want the volume of everything besides the core, right? So the best way for us to think about that, let me just erase this information here, or these notes there. The best way to think about that is kind of like scooping out the core, right? So this blacked out area here represents the part we're going to take out. And then the white area around it is represent, representative of the volume that we want to find. So what I'm saying, in math terms at least, is in order to find the volume of the mantle and the crust combined, I can find the volume of Mars, and then I can subtract the volume of the core away from that, and then that should give me the volume of the mantle plus crust. So let's figure out the volume of Mars and the volume of the core, and this should be a pretty straightforward question. So the volume, oh, well, before we get there, the volume of any sphere, and this is provided to you so you don't have to memorize it, it's on the first page of the math section, is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So the volume of Mars, therefore, would be 4 thirds pi R is 3,390, so 3,390, and we're cubing that. And then we're going to subtract away from that 4 thirds pi. And then for the core, our radius is 1,695 cubed. Okay, So obviously we're going to jump to our calculator to figure out what all this is. So let's do that. So I'm going to start off with... Okay, so I'm going to multiply, so I have 3390 cubed times 4 thirds is what I decided to do first, and I'm multiplying that by pi, and what I get is 1631878061. Oh, one, four, three. There's some decimal points, but when I kind of look down to my answer choices, you know, these answers are very far apart, right? 27 million, 20 billion, 45 billion, 143 billion. So I'm not going to deal with the, with the decimal points for right now. So now to the volume of the core. So I have 1695 cubed. And then I am going to multiply that by four thirds as well. and then multiply that by pi, and I get 20,398,475,767. And really, again, I don't think it matters. These numbers are so different from each other, but let's just see. So if I have 163,187,806,143 minus 20,398,475, uh, seven six seven. I am getting a hundred and forty two billion seven eighty nine three thirty and some more numbers. And it's obvious from that that our answer right 
is this $143 billion number, or not dollar, but $143 billion um, kilometers cubed. So answer choice D is the correct answer. All right, so this video took a little bit of time, um, really because I'm doing all this math by hand here. I'm using my phone calculator instead of like a TI-83 or a TI-82. Um, so you, know, you would be able to get there much faster.